In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to delete old custom fields, but without going into phpMyAdmin and doing it manually. So this is something that I'm doing on my own site, and I figured I'd make a quick video as I do it. So basically, WordPress has custom fields. You may be aware of that. You can create them in a number of ways uh, via code. You can use advanced custom fields, pods, uh, Metabox, all kinds of different things. Thing is, when you if you stop using them, uh, they just sort of sit there. Also, a lot of plugins out there create custom fields. And then if you deactivate and remove that plugin, all those old custom fields are still sitting there and all the values on, on those posts are still sitting there. And it just sort of clutters things up. Um, and uh, there's not really any built-in way to remove them, unfortunately. Um, and so what most people do when they want to remove them, it, well, first of all, most people just don't remove them. They just sort of sit there. And to be honest with you, it doesn't exactly slow down the site all that much because uh, this database, MySQL database, is really fast. So in, in reality, it's really not hurting anything for that data to sit there. But a lot of people, they like to keep things super, super clean. And so they want to go and they want to remove those old custom fields. The thing is, typically, if you want to do that, you've got to go into PHP My Admin, which is like managing the database directly, and you got to do some queries and you got to run some delete operations. And unless you're really skilled working with databases, that's probably going to freak you out and you don't really know how to do it. Um, I did find an alternative way, and I want to show you how that works. Okay, so you want to go into WordPress and you want to find a plugin called Edit Custom Fields. Just go and search for that and install it. It's a free plugin. Now, when I installed it, it was like 11 months old, so it hadn't been updated in a while. But it's not really a problem because the way that WordPress manages custom fields hasn't changed in basically forever, uh, and so it's okay. And it's a, it doesn't do a whole heck of a lot. Now, uh, so that's the name of the plugin. You can see that I've got it installed here. Once it's installed, it'll show up underneath the tools menu, and you'll just go to edit custom fields, and you're gonna see this massive, massive list of custom fields. Now, we, we'll get to that in just a minute, but real quick, it's obviously important that before you go do stuff like this, you run a backup operation. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna run a quick backup operation. Um, you can do this via whatever plugin that you're using, but we I'm using Updraft Plus, so we're gonna go in here and I'm just going to run a database backup. Actually, I'm just gonna hit backup now and just kind of let it do the entire thing here. Actually, no, here we go. Include your database. We don't need the files. And yeah, might as well send this to remote storage. That's for Dropbox. And let's back that up and I'll just wait until that's done. Okay, so we're all done with the backup. Now, the way Updraft works is gonna drop that into my Dropbox for me. You can set that up however you want if you happen to be using Updraft, but it's pretty cool. Uh, one uh, quick thing also is that um, if you don't, if you're not using a dedicated backup plugin, at the very least, back up your site via your web host um, and just make sure that you've got a backup because you are about to delete things from your database and you don't wanna screw something up. All right, let's pop back over to the custom fields. And let's start talking about these. Now, when when WordPress, when you, when you have custom fields inside of WordPress, it, you are dealing with raw field names. And a lot of times, by the way these names um, are, you could tell what put them there. Sometimes you can't, but like, like for example, this one is called social locker. And we got all these weird ones, social locker, underscore timer, underscore close. And this is all because I used to use a plugin that was called social locker. And so I happen to recognize it. And, and that's what you're going to have to do too. There's no way that you're going to get a plain English description of what these custom fields are uh, in your installation of WordPress. So you're going to have to go and you're going to have to maybe in some cases google these field names and stuff like that so that you can find out what they are but in my case uh, this is social locker I happen to know that I'm not using it it's not occupying that many space that much space because it says it's only used by five post uh, so I will safely delete these so I'm gonna just check off a few of these and then let's scroll way on down you can see I've got a lot of custom fields here so I got a little work to do, 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 do. And we are going to delete the checked custom fields. Okay, confirm deletion. These are the ones that we checked off. 
These are some really old posts that are sitting in the database where these things are attached. Yes, definitely delete these custom fields. Boom. Okay. And so now we can go back. So there they are. And that's basically the process. And um, I have, I've got a little bit of cleanup to do here to remove some of these things. But that's basically what you do. Like these are all social locker. I can tell. Some of these you can tell by looking at them. Um, SM Pro. Oh, smush data. I probably would leave that one there. You, you want to try not to delete anything that you know is still being used. But in some cases, you can kind of look at it and go... Oh, I can tell that's not being used anymore. You can go ahead and delete it and make sure that nothing is getting screwed up. That's kind of what it comes down to. Now, like I said, if there's one that you see and you really can't tell what it's for, feel free to, to, to leave it there, I mean, because it's not as if the presence of a few straggler custom field values in your database is really going to affect your site speed that much. Um, and so it's really easy to get a little bit too focused on trying to have an absolutely beautiful, fuzzy feeling of how clean your site is, but really it, it's not that important. So I want to make sure you understand that it's sort of a classic 80-20 rule thing. And I know the feeling when you're trying to like get every last ounce of straggler old data out of your database. So you get this squeaky clean feeling about it. But at the end of the day, you could spend so much time to try to get every little field out of there. And it's probably not worth your time because you're not going to notice a massive difference in the speed of your site. And so you can use this plugin, Edit Custom Fields, to get out the big ones and delete them. Um, but if, if you see if a name there and you're like, yeah, you don't really know if it's being used for anything, it's, it's safe to leave it. It's not going to hurt anything. Okay. Now, the one uh, last thing I'll remind you of is that the, this plugin is only going to be removing the values. Okay. And now, so if you are using a plugin to create those custom fields or you, whatever uh, method that you're using to actually create the custom fields to begin with so that you can select them, um, you, that will still be there. And so let's say, for example, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to delete some old uh, custom field data that I had originally set up with advanced custom fields. So I'm going to use this plugin. I'm going to delete that data from the database so it's not there anymore. But if I don't also go into advanced custom fields and delete the fields there, that those fields are still going to be showing up in my, uh, in my admin panels. Okay, so just keep in mind, there's a difference between the actual definitions of the custom fields and the values themselves. And what we just did is we're deleting the values themselves. So it's just not sitting there cluttering things up. Okay, so that is the plugin way of deleting the custom fields. Quite frankly, it should be built into WordPress, but eh, it is what it is. Uh, the alternative to this would be that you're opening up your database directly, usually in PHP My Admin, and deleting them that way. But for a lot of people, that gets really nerdy. So this might be a cleaner way to do it. If you've got any questions, let me know below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Talk to you later.